Okay, hello everybody, I'm Elsa Mojibo, welcome back to the finale of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. And so, the last episode, it occurs to me that last episode was like, is going to be like two hours long. Holy crap, I'm, hope you guys are really willing to listen to me ramble on about some nonsense and not be able to make sense of what I'm saying. But now, this is the last episode, and for sure, the final episode of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I gotta tell you, I'm really excited to go ahead and finish this Let's Play. Not because I'm just like, oh, finally, another Let's Play off the clock. And it took me forever to finally finish this one, but again, this was not my fault that it took me this long. Oh my, scary noises. Hey, Ace, you what you looking for? He's like, no, I'm keeping all the, the, the secret recipe, the Mountain Dew, to myself. And it's like, well, what if that actually was what it was? Oh yeah, so basically you can go right ahead and teleport back to the beginning, back to where you were, in case you ever want to, uh... Wait, what? In case you ever feel... Hang on, I thought there was an ammo station here somewhere. Or am I remembering that wrong? I'm positive I was remembering that wrong. Well then, okay. So then, I guess I just came in poorly prepared, so I'm just like, nah, I don't need to go to an ammo station. So I guess I need to rent a little bit for ammo. Okay. Yeah, so wait. Is there one down there? Is there one down there? No. Where did I see that am I thought there was an ammo station here. It's just a save station. Alright. And it's like the only one of the only save stations in the game in the in the trilogy that's not in a very tiny area. All right. Hopefully, this is just one recording session, same recording session. Hopefully, this day, this footage will not be corrupted. If it is corrupted, I'm gonna be so mad. It means I'll have to play through the game all over again, or just be like, "Hey, this let's play is canceled." Miraculously. All right. So this is another thing that makes the uh, screw attack complete. Well, no, never mind. The screw attack is necessary unless you can. Unless this game has a glitch that I'm not aware of just yet. Alright, come on. Open up Nash to Mountain Dew Code Red Power. Well, last collection of planetary energy lies within the core. When the place on the transfer module, this world will become heavily unstable. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Alright, and this is it. Like I was just a big pool of <laughs> I don't wanna say it. <laughs> Never mind. Alright. Like, who disturbs? You may not have this epic Mountain Dew Code Red power. <laughs> That's just fun. I am sponsored by Coca Cola. <laughs> what if that was just the entire plot of the game? It was just. And like, okay, here it is the final boss of the game. Sorta. Oh man, did I just spoil something? All right, and this this is a this. I am half tempted to say I like this fight more than I like the Metroid fight against the Metroid Prime because this music is really cool. But I don't know Metroid Prime. Like I don't know, you'll see. I think this is really cool. This is such a cool boss fight. Either way. And also, you let me let me just go ahead and tell you now: super missiles will destroy this boss fight, like easy peasy. Like if I can just go ahead and do that. And yeah, this is also another boss fight that has. Like, also, I love the I love the music in this fight. This fight, this fight has such like I love I love the music of Metroid Prime 2 Echo so much. This is this is one of the best songs in the game. Like second best boss boss theme of the game as far in my humble open onion, in my personal opinion, that's open onion is opinion spelled weird. Go ahead. Open your eyes. What? Open your eyes. Dang it! Like they didn't need do anything. Oh wait, he's gonna just be a cheap ass and fire fourth laser. Oh, you thought I was done, did you? Well, 
But yeah, I love I love the boss music in this game. Like this this is this is the best song in the game as far as I'm concerned. Hit it, hit it! Alright, it would be great if you could hit it with that. Oh, Sunburst is also really good here. At least this game is also way more generous with ammo than most. Alright, come on. Yeah, eat the Sunburst. Power of Sunny D. God, you were such a useless weapon! Like, okay, I take back everything. Sunburst sucks. It's such trash it's, it's cool it's a cool weapon but it's so worthless like why would you bother using it All right like eh, hit, hit you with my antennas like admittedly this is a very weird design it's good but it's just like I mean like Metroid games do pride themselves with their weird boss designs Hit him, hit him, hit him, there we go. Alright. Yeah, see what it means? Look look at how much damage that shaved off of him. Like, yeah, it's it's disgustingly it's disgustingly good. And I love the boss theme boss music in this game. Alright, you gotta scan him real quick. Come on. Alright, and then this is get on, get on, get on there! <laughs> Alright. And like, this part is the low, it's a cool fight, but this, this is a cool phase, but it's, this is the, this would be the, the this would be, that. Talk already, dude. This, this, this would have to be the low, the low point of the fight, because... Because it only because the hit detection on the morph ball bombs is really weird on the tentacles. Like sometimes you're just gonna want to rely on a... the ow, so rude. I mean, I'm, I mean, the only thing I'm trying to do is just kill you. It's like even the developers are like, yeah, you know what? Just go ahead and use power bombs there. Power bombs are king in, in this phase of the in this phase of the fight because they just destroy the tentacles super easily. Or there's like 30% chance that the bombs will kill the tentacles. Like you have to kill all the tentacles. And like I don't know, I don't get it, but the hit detection is really really annoying in this in this part. There's seemingly no reason. Ow. Ah. Eh. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you if you would just give her to that port gas. Alright, there we go. And now musical greatness awaits with this with this fight. And yeah, this does it. Yeah, it's just another jump guardian design, except it looks cool. Like, it's like, to quote the uh, Autark of Flame, it's like, oh man, this boss fight would be like if it was the front from something from Vicaraga if Vicaraga wasn't so frustrating to play. And like, oh, maybe it wouldn't be so frustrating if you weren't such a scrub. Oh! No disrespect towards the Autark of Flame. I, lo I love you, guy. Love you, dude. You're one of my inspirations. And also, Annihilator Beam destroys this boss fight easy peasy. But, in, in, like I said, musical greatness. This this is uh, the best boss fight in the game. This is one of the best boss fights in the game. I don't know what boss fight's better. I don't know if this boss. I don't know if I like this boss fight better than the uh, Quadraxis or not. But the music is for sure better. For, that is for sure. Like Quadraxis boss fight music is really good. Man, it would be, it would have been so much better if it just did continuous damage. The dark hole, it's way better. All right, come on. I 
He's like, oh yeah, give me ammo, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> and it gives and it gives me exact damage. But this is this is a. I don't know which boss fights better. I don't know if I don't know if it's. Uh, this is also at least shorter than. Oh my goodness! Look, <laughs> that cut off a quarter of his health like immediately. And you can, and also there's a hole where the hairs are standing, and uh, you you can you can actually uh, and you, you can actually hit him from the back. Wait, why is it going like that? Oh, does that mean you can only hit him with an annihilator beam? No, oh, dyna dynamic lighting. All right, come on, take that last bullet. No, don't close your mouth. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. Yeah, you take that, man. It's, it's too bad we're not gonna get to hear that music. That music was so fantastic. <laughs> All righty, and it turns from Mountain Dew to the new. Taco Bell freeze flavor. That freeze is disgusting, by the way. Not sponsored by Taco Bell. Like I would have been like, "Yo, oh, it's a great flavor." <laughs> oh God, I'm such a sellout. <laughs> Alrighty. Like it, did he? Everybody, I'm too tired of nitpick or whatever I mean technically the energy is still inside of her and she's still in dark ether so like you think that at least that's a escape scene and I want to say this is a uh, song that was used in Metro Met Super Metroid I don't want to say that for sure. Or maybe it was in the original Metroid. I don't know. I haven't beaten the original Metroid. It's not a game I would ever want to go back to. It's like, I gotta save the game. Gotta save the game. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you can't save after the Emperor Ing boss fight. You just kind of have to. Well, that my chair de elevated itself for no reason. Okay. But. Hey, you gotta. Head on out of here. Right. Go, go, Power Rangers. <sighs> Man, I gotta do so much editing when I'm done with this. I haven't even edited most of the episodes I have to edit now. Oh man, the face on a sentient. Wonder why they gave me eight minutes as opposed to three. I think she kind of half-asses it. Yeah, this this is the true final boss of the game. Wait, what? How much off-world have I not scanned? What have I not scanned? What? Yeah, th this is the this is the final boss of the game, for sure. And I think you gotta have an echo visor in order to see her. Where'd you go? Wait, where 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 are you? I don't see you. There you are. Come on, I'm not in the mood for your invincibility. Like, not in the mood for your invincibility frame nonsense.
Like, no, seriously, how much off-world enemies have I missed? Like, are there... Oh, is this the... Yeah, also don't forget, you gotta scan here. What? Okay, this is honky-dory. What What have I missed? Okay, off-world pirates. Right. Off-world, okay, so pirates, dark Samus, no, got all that. Metroids. There were several types of Metroids? Did I miss the Metroid? Like, how many times have I played this? Alright, so... Alright, so this is a bit interesting different, so... Like, you can only really damage her with that. Whatever that. This is, this is the simplest, uh fight with her for sure. All that. Alright, let's go ahead and... Like, uh, man, the power super missiles do nothing to her now. Yeah, this is a, a far cry from the last battle with her, and it's a, a far cry from the Emperor Ing battle, but I guess we gotta have a bit of closure, I guess. That's true, it's... But it says I unlocked the secret ending. Let's go ahead and see what that secret ending is. Mm. Alright, let's go ahead and see how much that shaves off. Barely anything, that's awesome. So, let's go ahead and shoot off into the distance. Charge up! There we go. Alright, that's it, we beat the game. Seven more bosses to go. Nah, I'm just kidding. He's like, that's the end of it. Don't worry. Man, why couldn't this have been a skin in Smash Bros. Ultimate? I mean, it, this is the essence of the Metroid Prime. What does that sound? Oh, it's not in the game. I'm just hearing st stuff outside. Luckily, muting my TV does not... ...does not meet the recording. Oh, hi. Oh, this is the last teleporter. That's a lot of ing. Hey, now come on, you got all all of them. You can do that super easily. Oh man, one of them got crushed by a rock. Yeah, but the consensus is, yeah, fuck them. They're they're douchebags, and those boost ball things are. Oh no, what? Oh boy. My, that's awfully dramatic and depressing, if you think about it. Alright, so the entirety of Ether has been saved. Like, oh, there's more than one Luminoth that's alive. Yeah, yeah, dude. Man, this, the biology of these things is confusing, for sure. Oh, and I don't get to keep the light suit. Why?
I bet that's gotta feel kinda gratifying. I mean, it's not like she had a choice in the matter, she kinda had to. Or wait, is this the secret ending? I don't understand why you take that off, okay. Those beautiful game GameCube graphics. Yeah, that's like the first peek at her outside of her suit in 3D games. I mean, like, you saw her face at the end of Metroid Prime. Alright, well, I could say... If I can find the secret ending on YouTube, assuming it doesn't play, then I'm pretty sure it's not going to play, because... 100% of these games is not worth it, dude. Mark, hey, shush, yeah, I don't know what that means. And there it is! We beat Metro Prime 2 Echoes! Alright, swiggity swag. And I, and also, I did not bother beating the first game all over again. Or anything. Crazy thing, it's just like, I would play it, on, like, play it on my own time, that's why I meant. I didn't play it on my, play through the whole thing all over again on my own time. Jesse Spears? Is that like the sister of Britney Spears? Quinn Smith, Ben Sprout, Vince Jolly, Jol Jolly, whatever. Oh man, this has been a—it's been a long one in the works, but man, I'm very happy to have finally been able to beat this game. Like I'm. I don't know what you guys have been saying in the comments because my Let's Plays are not really all that popular except for my Mega Man X7 one which is like my most popular episode of that one hasn't even reached a hundred views so oh yeah this was a, a really fun Let's Play to do this is I, ha I had a great time doing this I had about as much fun doing this one as I did Metroid Prime 1, like, I mean, it's like, yeah, granted, the boss, some of the boss fights were not very fun, but it, I still had a great time playing through this game. I was like, Reggie! There's, the Reginator is in the special thanks. I mean, it's too bad he's not part of the company anymore, but... Uh, alright. So, ba so, like, that, that was like $115 well spent for out of Wii U, only to have that Wii U break and then have to buy, have to get another one. I got it for free, at least, so... Just for this! So that's great. Well, at least that's a whole lot of fun, but at least I can play my Wii U all over again. I can play a bunch of games, like I can play Bayonetta 2, but I can play that on Switch. So I'd rather just play that again. Oh! And I lost all my save data for Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I mean, not that it matters, I'm not gonna play that again. Um, except to fight the Alatrion, but I would have to do that all over again, and old Monster Hunter games are just so exhausting to play, <laughs> because you have to grind your ass off in order to be able to stand a chance. Because those games have so much gr have excessive grinding. I like Monster Hunter, don't get me wrong. I could play through Color Splash, would you guys want me to do a Let's Play of that? That would be easy because I know for a fact that you do not have to fight enemies. You don't have to fight enemies because you don't get experience because there's no point in playing the game. And I could play Star Fox Zero again. That <laughs> uh, also occurs to me. I'm just I'm gonna have to uh, do that all over again. I have to play that because I need to record footage for my next countdown. Top 10 worst Platinum Games bosses in. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna be. No, I'm gonna be talking about Star Fox Zero. Also means I'm gonna be talking about Near Automata, and everybody in their deck is gonna be mad at me because I. Because I don't like Near Automata as much as everyone else does. And also to start over on Wonderful 101, which I've been meaning to do another playthrough of that game, so that's that's fine. Oh, I thought that said Nate, Nate birthday. Alrighty, Michael Chipman. The, the song is almost over, so ready to ready to stop this. Oh, but that also brings it up. Like, I can play through 
Zelda on Wii U game. Wait, hang on. What? Did I get rid of my copy of Treasure Captain Toad Treasure Tracker? Oh shit! I don't have I don't have Captain Toad Treasure Tracker anymore. Oh, so this also has New Game Plus. Okay. Alright, well, this did not show the secret ending, which doesn't surprise me. I guess just seeing Samus in her Zero Suit was uh, the secret the secret ending, quote-unquote, they can get. But yeah. Uh, that, that was hella fun. I'm really glad to do that. Okay, on to Metroid Prime 3. No, I'm not playing that right now but the next time we absolutely will start Metroid Prime 3 Corruption I'm pretty excited to start that one all right so this time I'm gonna be playing veteran though so just so you know all right thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you had fun as much fun playing watching me play this as I did playing it so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and cut off I'll see you go I'll see you guys later take care